have the heaviest suitcase literally in the world. It's 29 kg <laughs> and they've got a carpet. I can't push it. Okay guys, so I've not done much of an intro, but as you can see here, um, where am I? I'm only in Vegas. Hi Max. Um, yeah, I'm in Vegas. You can't really see properly out the window, but there's a sphere. And there is all the views. Oh my god. And let's check out this absolute beautiful hotel suite I've got actually. Thanks to Hilton. Like I love a good bathroom. There's a bath. Look at that bath. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. This is gonna be the best 10 days of my life. Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm staying in the Virgin Hotel with Hilton. Um, me and Arab have been asked to come over here as a surprise, well help surprise Lando for his birthday. So obviously he's turning 24 and because he is obviously going to be in Vegas for the Grand Prix next week, um, he can't really celebrate because he has to concentrate. So Hilton have asked me and Arab to come help surprise a birthday party of him and basically bring the party to him. So I'm going to go do that today of Arab I'm so excited and then I get a few days off so I've never been to Las Vegas before so I'm gonna go do some cool stuff I'm probably gonna go on a helicopter ride uh, I might go to Grand Canyon I might go shooting see if my college duty skills come in handy probably not and then I'm gonna be here for the Grand Prix watch it in the skybox um I genuinely can't believe this has happened to me and I've been asked to do this I'm gonna quickly say that I'm so grateful to been asked to do this opportunity I really believe in manifesting and stuff like obviously I know I'm in college and so like stuff like this is more likely gonna happen to me but like just things in the past like years I've really manifested stuff and they have came true and I really really ever since I heard about this Vegas Grand Prix wanted to come to this and you know I always wished for it and like was really hopeful and I literally got an email like a week and a half ago and I just I can't believe shit that happens like when you have good energy and you believe in good things and you're so grateful and you show gratitude and I really want you guys to start doing that I know like yeah you might not get asked to go to a Grand Prix or like you know win the lottery but good things really do happen if you believe in them they do happen I swear bro the view I have from my room is unbelievable. Like I can literally see the track there. What? So we've just went through the concept of um, what we're gonna do for Lando. So Lando has no idea, basically they've told him there's filming happening. So he is in his room thinking that they're doing filming with Hilton. And what he doesn't know is there's loads of surprise that's gonna happen. But Arab didn't know, but now he's gotta get in a cake and jump out of a cake. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. Also, quickly, this is my outfit of the day. I literally love this bodysuit so much. And I love little flared trousers. Cute. Thank you. So, Arav is leaving Quadrant and becoming a model. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we came to film with Lando and Hilton. Currently, Lady Ped watching Barbie. It looks like you enjoyed it. You look very happy and content. <laughs> and I'm back in the beautiful hotel. So I actually was just doing videos like behind the scene for Lando's birthday surprise and video. However, I have got in the cake and literally surprised Lando, which is so funny. Good morning. Wow, that was actually really good. Day three, technically, in Las Vegas. I have a really good sleeping pattern, you know, when I'm here. I'm going to bed at like 10. I'm waking up at like 6, 7 a.m. Look how big this bath is. This bath is amazing. It's like a freaking, it's like a swimming pool for someone small like me. So yeah, good morning, guys. Um, today is going to be a bit more of a chill day. However, it's not all so chill. So I am actually going in a helicopter ride later. I've booked this on my own accord. No one else is coming with me. Um, I just really wanted to do this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am scared. I am very scared. And I don't really get scared over that many things, especially when it comes to like heights or flying. If you said I needed to do a bungee jump right now, I'd be gassed. But helicopters don't fill me with much confidence because they don't seem that safe. But I have been in a helicopter three times before because I went skydiving in the Swiss Alps and I jumped out of it. So that wasn't so scary because I was more scared of jumping out of it than being in the helicopter. 
I've been in the helicopter twice more because when I went to Monaco Grand Prix, I went with my friend was working with a brand and we got to go in the helicopter to be taken from the airport and back to the airport um, for the Monaco Grand Prix, which is a very crazy experience. After that helicopter ride, I said, I'm never gonna get in a helicopter again. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll take you guys along with me for that. And yeah, I've got a really crazy week coming up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this vlog. Wow. This place is crazy. I have no idea where I am right now. About to go in the high roller. We are, let's go, let's go. I am You're higher so than I will tell. Higher. At least the Las Vegas version. You're higher than the Statue of Liberty and that's the Vegas version on top of the original New York City. Surpassed the heights of the ancient pyramids in Egypt as well as the nuts of Egypt. We are here. Shit. Well, let's go in a morning guys this is saturday today i can't remember what day i'm on as in like how many days i've been here um but it is literally i've been up since half five because i've got to go to a hotel i want to make sure i'm there on time so i'm going to the grand canyon today don't really know what to expect to be honest i've obviously seen photos but i've never really seen videos or so this is gonna be all new to me it's like 10 hour um overall journey like there back and everything but i think it should be really cool well if you picture me how did you do that Oh, it's broken. There you go. About to go on the skywalk. Apparently it's got glass underneath here, which I didn't actually know before I bought that. Um, and apparently it's like so much higher than the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> Fuck my. So I just went on Skywalk and um, you're not allowed to take your phone so I wasn't able to take any videos out there. But I just came to a restaurant and I can show you what we walked on and it was a glass floor. So I'm currently eating dinner with this view. Mad. The fact there's like nothing stopping me falling is wild. Holy fuck. I'm currently out of breath. And I've literally only walked up a few steps. But yeah, I feel like when I'm looking out at this, it just doesn't seem real. It looks like I'm looking at a painting. Like, sometimes when I go traveling though, I do get a, like a thought in the back of my head. I do it when I go like anywhere if I'm by myself, but I'm literally in Arizona right now. I'm literally out and about right now with no signal. I don't know where I am. Well, I know where I am, Grand Canyon, but like I don't know where I am. Um, all by myself. I do have a tour guide, but what if he just left me behind? Just what if he did? Could die up here. Sometimes I think that when I'm traveling, I'm like, I am doing this all by myself. I'm an adult now. That's scary. I am the one that's looking after myself right now, making sure I get back safe. Also, I know you can't see me right now, but I just want to say it is eight o'clock on a Sunday. And I'm going to bed because I'm so tired. I'm doing Vegas so badly right now. <laughs> I was just laying in my bed naked. Uh, like, cause I just came out of the bath. <laughs> and I didn't hear the door. Like, it is my fault. I didn't hear the door because I was listening to something really loud on my phone. And then <laughs> I just came in. I'm sorry. And they didn't even rush out as well. They were just like, oh. And I was like, oh. And they was like, sorry. <laughs> Like, stop that for like 10 seconds. I'm off to range 7.02. Um, I'm gonna go shoot some guns. I'm gonna shoot an MP5, a handgun, and a Barrett 50 cal. I've never shot a gun before properly, so I don't know what to expect, especially because I've seen videos and like you proper jolt back, don't you? Here we are. This is a 50 cal bullet. Oh my gosh. These are two firearms you're gonna fire. Here's how I've done. I got two. On the X, not too bad, not too bad. I'm happy with that for the first game. <laughs> All right, 50 curl. 
I've never even seen one of these in person, so this is crazy. I have my evidence of how well I did. That was literally the best, one of the best experiences I've ever had. Like, I didn't know what to expect. Everyone there was so, so lovely. Like, I can't even explain how nice we were. Like, wow, 1010 um, customer service experience at the range, 702. Would so recommend if you're in Vegas, oh my God. And yeah, I'm gonna show you these properly later, but you did see how well I did. On the Barrett 50 Cal, I actually was aiming for his head and I got him. I got him just like in the neck, so that kind of counts, right? Um, oh my god though i jolted back so much like i was kind of expecting it but not that much oh my god i love you so much i because obviously i play call of duty it's just so cool to shoot some of the guns that like for example the mp5 and the barrett 50 cal are like some of my favorite guns on cod so i can now i can flex that i've actually shot them it still blows my mind how this is a hotel just a hotel lobby you know i need to go on one but i don't know which one to choose this is not me promoting gambling, by the way. I'm literally only gonna take like 100 pound out. And if I lose it, I lose it. Still might cry though. Oh, baby. Just the McLaren car in the Hilton. Here is my back 50 cal. I went for the head. I got him in the head. It's kind of near the neck, but look, that would be your face. That'd be where your mouth is. So that is, I'm so happy with that. Here is um, the handgun and the mp5 and look there's none outside bitch oh my god oh my god found all the mclaren stuff i've just got this i wanted a mclaren jacket for so long i feel like i want one of these too though i don't know this one's really nice too and apparently if i buy it i can get a free go on the simulator so funny that they were so shocked <laughs> that's too well because i've done this before it's actually nice to be comp complimented on my F1 driving skills. It's really cool that I just got to do that there. I'm currently walking down the strip and I don't feel as scared this time. I feel like I know where I'm going and yeah, I don't know. I've got over my scaredness walking the street by myself. It's just, it just doesn't seem real, honestly. This, this place is just crazy. There's so much going on. So here's the jacket. Look at the back. Oh my god. I've literally wanted a McLaren jacket for so long. Yay. Just woke up from a nap. Should have done it. But I had like a 30 minute, 40 minute nap. Because I'm so tired. Like I'm sleeping so much, but I'm sleeping early and I'm waking up so early. Like I'm waking up for the night. And I'm also waking up like probably like 5 a.m. So like by the time now, it's like 10 p.m. I am knackered. But we're going to Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, which I absolutely love. Like I love the show so much. So I'm so excited. So I'm gonna have Arab. Got a, a reservation at half 10. So yeah. And I'm wearing a cute little long red skirt for it. Little heels, because I finally want to get dressed up one day. Let's go. Right, here's my salad. It doesn't really look like a salad, not gonna lie, but it looks nice. Look at Arabs. Oh my god. That looks too good to eat. Spa here is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Just wanna jump in. The view again. Breakfast, well, lunch, I say. Mm, this looks good. I love a salad. I love a Greek salad. I still need to read this. Just went for um, a spa day as well. I'm going to touch about that in a minute because it was crazy. Yeah, like I said earlier, so I went to the spa downstairs um, this morning and I had a massage and it was literally the best massage in the world. And then I went on this thing. I don't know what it was. I'm going to have to try and research what it was called. But like you lie on it and you put like these glasses on that like block everything out and headphones and it does like vibrations and you have like really peaceful sounds and it was crazy it was literally crazy it was like so amazing like so relaxing although my mind finds it hard to switch off sometimes so 
I would be relaxing and things would come in my mind. I'm like, stop. But I need to practice that. I really need to start meditating to try not be thinking shit all the time. But anyway, I'm going out with Arif now. I'm going, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere where Charles is. Hello, I am Charles the Clerk. People know me for being a Ferrari. Just quickly, tell me why I look, I look like this because I've literally just got out of bed. Tell me why I just get a knock at the door. And I'm like, hello, because it's literally like 7 p.m. I'm like, hello. And I'm like, you can come in because I'm I'm basically in bed, like, you know, I'm not dressed. And Hilton have sent a bottle of champagne to my room. Like, oh my god. I mean, I have two cups and it's only me here, but like, thank you. And to top it off, I came into the bathroom earlier and look what's in the bathroom waiting for me. Like, guys, this package. Like, what? And do you know what's so funny, right? I literally bought a little thing like this earlier. Let me show you. I literally went to Sephora the other day and bought myself the hair mask. And they gave me a whole package of this stuff. Ah! Right, I think I'm staying in tonight. So we've got the good, good cheesecake. That looks freaking incredible. I've got a grilled cheese, it's called. Grilled cheese sandwich. Wow! I got a cup of tea and orange juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously I'm not showing myself in the bath right now, but like, I feel like I'm in a pool. Like it's literally coming up to my shoulders. And it's the biggest bath I've ever been in in my life. It's just so sick. Ooh, these are very cool. Show it off. Ooh, damn. Model and that. Cheers. <laughs> I think you need a next size up. I probably stole I stole it. <laughs> You'll get a PC. So bad he's in the wall. Oh my god. This is from your game. Good. <laughs> Max is ill. So this has got it's got turmeric, ginger, black pepper, oil, honey. Like that is literally gonna make you better. I think you just need to down the whole thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. It like burns your throat. It doesn't taste good, it tastes terrible. But I just know that it's like doing my body wonders. What's that? You can't do your body wonders. <laughs> you feel good. I'm back. <laughs> I just came back to just get a jacket because me and Arab are just going out and um, I got slippers on the floor. <laughs> And also got these just delivered to me. Um, wow, I just feel like I keep coming back to presents. I like Fiji war, I've never even drunk this in my life. Like, I feel bougie right now. Oh, this is like, I never get surprised like this. This is so amazing. Thank you so much, Hoon. Thank you so much. Honestly, delivery looks great. Club where Alpha Tauri are launching their livery, yeah, and this is what we can see at the car in person. Yeah. And on our phone, we can see the full livery. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's, that's, that's good. That looks so good. I wish we could see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Oh, my God. It's so I'm currently just laying in bed because it is. 5.30 p.m. by the way. I'm just resting so I gotta go in a few hours. But there's loads of people complaining on here about all the problems. It's actually kind of crazy looking at how mental it is over here at the minute, like all the traffic. Oh, I saw this in the, <laughs> the reflection on the mirror. And it fucking freaks me out. What? So here we are, day one, practice. Do not expect, I'm so excited, going to the skybox. I'm gonna show you round of me. My outfit is just like a little black jumpsuit today. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing later yet. I don't know if I'm going out or whatnot. We shall see, but I'm so excited. First wristband of the weekend. Right, let's go see the track. See what it's saying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
we have no clue what's going on. Basically, Carlos is called, just basically broke down, and they've done one lap and session. I, mean, look, I, I might guess what's going on. Right. Right. I saw we'll Carlos' car hit a really big bump, right. and his car came out. So I don't know if it's a really big bump or they think stable. Kind of great time. This is what happens when you have no session to walk. So while practice is cancelled, we're just gonna rinse the drinks, rinse the food. The race might not be going on, but the food is going in my there's belly. A race, there's a race for this food to get in my belly. <laughs> that looks so good. I'm once again struggling to stay awake. And it's been delayed. Don't know what time till. bombastic side eye. Just came back to the hotel again and I've got more presents. <laughs> they just keep on bringing more. I've got lip seat. What's up? Today is Friday. I keep on getting mixed up on the days. I literally don't know what day it is, which they say you're living when you don't know what day it is, but like, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't even know what the hell is going on. Practice did not go to plan as you probably saw. I'll see what happened with Carlos and um, yeah, so that got cancelled because I'm in Vegas. It's already late as it is. It was like we had like hours to wait. I think we had like a few two three hours to wait until the next practice was on. And so like me and Av and Max was like wanting to wait for it because a lot of people did leave. Obviously I'm in Vegas. Like I I wanna I came here for the F1. Obviously I wanna watch it. But then it got to like half eleven and then it said it's gonna be delayed and we was like fuck and then they said that it might be on at like half two we ended up going back and i'm kind of glad i did because apparently they kicked everyone out anyway that would have been so shit so it's kind of sad but hopefully today will be a bit better and today we're doing a mclaren appearance so i think it's lando that's gonna be here with a hilton i think you'll see soon i'll record anyway i am feeling a bit homesick today i woke up and it felt just a bit like sad which is really sad to say when you're in vegas but nothing bad with anything it's just like yeah i don't know i just felt a bit homesick but i think it is like the time difference like all my family and my friends and everyone like they're like asleep when i'm awake and all that but i'm having the best time and i'm only here for a few more days so i will get out of this i'm going to be seeing all my friends and family in a few days so i'll be fine is that chocolate? Um, I don't know. Is it chocolate? Yeah, it's chocolate. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What? Did you, you played the golf the other day. Was it fun? Uh, it was good fun, but um, you got beat by Carlos. <laughs> my priorities were not. My priorities were a birthday party rather than golf. <laughs> should always be the priority. What would you be, <laughs> if you weren't a Formula 1 driver? Actually, let's get Oscar's answer first. What would he be? I said a golf player being beat by Carlos. There we go. <laughs> Lando says... A golfer, an artist, or only fans. <laughs> so, off to practice three. Quali, got my varsity jacket on. Let's go. I know for so uh, that's all we need. And uh, now we're we'll focus on uh, tomorrow to try and put everything together in the race. Normally that's where we lack uh, most performance. <laughs> so I hope we can. Star of 100 and ended up with why is it not focusing just over 900 let's go it is currently 6 a.m i managed to stay awake yay only because i went gambling um not encouraging gambling by the way i literally took out a tiny amount so if i lost it then i didn't care but i am up with money so let's go um it was really fun but don't gamble don't gamble gambling is bad i only did it because i just wanted to try it while i was in vegas but i'm never gonna do it again because 
you just lose money in the end. Got all three of my wristbands on. I feel like I'll keep these on for memories like people do when they're at a festival. Predictions. Predictions? Yeah. Logan Sarge. Is it? DNF. <laughs> You better be careful um, saying that around here. Go. Nah, I can't. Fuck it. <laughs> Shit. Um, let's go. Max. Yeah. Red Bull's going to be good in the race. Yeah. I reckon the car keep P2, I think. Yeah. P3. You know what? I'm back in the air. Oh, you? Yeah. I'm going to say, you actually bought my top two. So I'm going to switch. <laughs> yeah. But switch it up. <laughs> Max, obviously. And then P2, I'm going to say George. P3, I want to say Alex Albon. No, Ricardo. Oh, Mad. Mad. Look, Mad. I mean, I wish. Mad. I wish. Guys, we got. Uh, They're just so excited to be here. Chuck McLaren going on pole with a <laughs> Max strap line on the P2. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a titanic battle into P1 here. Who knows what's going to happen. Max has got that anger in him. And Chuck, he needs to get that win off pole. The, the conversion rate is ass right now, so he needs to get that dub. That's really sad. That is so sad. That is sad. That is sad. So I'm back in my room, but not for long as Stay on the Grid in Hilton have got Zed performing um, pretty soon. So I'm going to go see that. But I just want to do an overall review on the race, uh, Las Vegas Grand Prix. Just want to say, firstly, I'm so happy Lana's okay. Like seeing your friend in a crash, um, which was very bad crash, actually, which was very scary. He's okay. That's the main thing. As long as he's okay. Obviously, it's a proper shame, but we care about his health. Uh, apart from that... I really enjoyed it. Like, that race was really good. Like, I know there's a lot of negatives going towards it, especially after, like, practice and stuff, what happened with that. And people were just saying it was just, like, a show. Not really about racing. But there were some great battles. There were some great overtakes. Like, the last lap as old Perez and Charles. Yeah, I just thought it was really good. It made me laugh when they all got in the car as well and had to drive to the fountain to do that. And then the uh, podium ceremony was really good. I love fireworks, so always going to enjoy that. I'm very much ready to come home now, though. Like, 10 days in Vegas is a killer. And I've actually not drunk, which is kind of mad for when you're in Las Vegas. But I'm trying not to drink much at the minute and enjoy myself without it, which you can definitely do. And I feel a lot more healthier, but I'm definitely a lot more tired because that usually helps me party a lot more. So I'm gonna go see Zed and then I'm ready for bed and to go home tomorrow. <laughs>